Hi, my name is Joe Gibson. I'm from Newton Cunningham, County Donegal, and today I'm going to take you through a couple of tunes. Uh, the first is a set of jigs I got from the playing of Morris Bradley um, called The Kool Aid Jig and The Blue Angel. That's the set. Uh, we're going to start off with the Kool Aid jig. Um, the notes should be provided, but if you can, please try and just play along by ear, as you'll find that you'll remember and retain the tune a lot handier that way. It might be tough at the start, but uh, it will be more beneficial in the long run. Also, uh, <clears throat> the notes provided aren't exactly to the melody, but they're very close. Um, they're more of a guide, okay? So, first phrase, you notice I'm putting in a little cut there as well, a grace note in the first A, two, two, find that I'm moving too fast you can always just pause the video and go around it again so uh, also when I'm playing the tune I sometimes take the opportunity to throw in a little double stop on that C C sharp and E okay take two bars at a time <clears throat> so in the notes it's saying to hold the D um, or the E rather um, but I'm putting a D in on the way you can go so the notes are 
approaches. I prefer. Try those that top line together now. Again. One, two. If you need to go back, pause, go back. Um, next two bars. Okay, in the notes it's just a long, it's a dotted crotchet B there, but from the playing that I've heard, they play a B to B flat B. I just think it's a nice surprise in the tune. Okay, so let's note to that. That's bar five and six now we're on. Okay, remember now this tune is in the key of A major, if I hadn't already mentioned, so your G's are sharp, F, C's and G's are sharp. tunes try and find a way to loop it so I don't have to stop each time so we're going to try that now okay and that way you're kind of building up a lot of repetition because remember it's all about repetition to be flat back to B again it's a good idea to keep those both separate just so there's a clarity in the change not unless you want that slide to be heard okay now I have included some bowing suggested bowing in the notes to the Kool-Aid jig it's worthwhile having a look at that because a lot of fiddle players don't take the time to realize what were the bowing any given note at any given time they're just focused on the left hand And if you have two notes side by side, it's always a good idea. Give it a wee cut and a bow. Okay, so that phrase again is... seven and eight so that's a nice easy one cut 
part in the double A at the end if you like. If you don't have to stop and you just can plow on, keeping it in time, you can build up a lot of reps very quickly. Okay, so <clears throat> let's take uh, bar the second line, bar, bar 5, 6, 7 and 8 together. 2, 3... Like the B to the B flat, you can hold the B as is in the notes. Two, three. Or alternatively, a roll. Let's try the whole first part together now. One, two. Also when you're learning a tune for the first time I recommend just bowing every note separately until you have an idea as to how you want to bow it. Um, we have forces you to keep everything regulated and equal from start to finish. Uh, let's plow on into the second part. Um, I should also say that there is an alternative eighth bar in the first part to take you to the second bar so just play that for you now. Instead of holding the A, the second, the last A, you're going a little C sharpie. So, the bar 9 and 10, or start of the third line. So, that's as it is in the notes. Assuming you can play the end of the first part, you should know now the last two bars in the second part. So rather than go through each part individually, we'll just try the whole tune at a nice slow pace. So here we go. One, two.
we'll keep that answer. Uh, 27 minutes. One, two. Okay, moving on, uh, the Blue Angel. Now this one's a little tricky uh, because of this little descending arpeggios. Um, but if we don't challenge ourselves, we'll never improve. So. Okay, so this is the Blue Angel, uh, following up follow up tune for the the set of jigs. So. provided uh, the, the version of the tune that I could find online slightly different um, again but I have written in uh, the melody underneath as to how I'm playing it but the great thing about finding tunes with different versions online is that you can you can use that version you can mix it up and come up with your own version I like to do things like that so let's get stuck and we're going to take this on uh, two bars at a time uh, Blue Angel so we got two Three. Right. 
these arpeggios are tricky when the pace comes into it so i recommend taking your time and practicing them slowly all right so first two bars one and two two three <laughs> Shoot on through this uh, bar one, two, three, and four now. Now, I recommend using the fourth finger for the E because that'll save you having to cross two strings to go like so. You can go because when you go through four arpeggios in a row like that in a jig, it tends to get a bit rocky on the fiddle. So, if you can, use the fourth finger to E on this one. Um, if not, you can still do it the open E and quite often I'll still use the open E uh, but you just need to focus so bar three and four there it is three four When you come across a grouping of arpeggios and stuff like that, uh, where the, the tonality is quite consistent and quite obvious, it's a great opportunity to play around. The original melody on, or the melody that is given here, suggests that you play. Uh, the original melody that is suggested here suggests that you play uh, instead of an arpeggio. Okay, so that's a, that's one change that you can make when you go around the tune. So instead of going to just straight arpeggios, uh, you can do this. Now, another inversion uh, that you can do is instead of doubling the second note, just play a crotchet in the first and you get... Which changes the groove slightly. So those three versions go on... Next, uh, bar five and six. Uh, now we're going into the arpeggios again, so um, this time it's suggesting to do it a little bit different. So we're going back to the root note. So that's, uh, I think that's a total of four different ways we can play the, this, those two bars. Uh, and they, those two bars repeat themselves in the first part, so that's half of the first part. So if you want to keep the tune interesting, there are some ways of doing it. Okay, so as the next line, the second part of the tune is fairly much a re repeat of the first part. I'm just going to give you the full next line now, alright? So, very slowly. Uh, I apologize I'm moving a bit quickly but I really want to get in another wee tune before this lesson's over so um, you can always pause and go back and repeat the phrases um, and the notes are there as well so this is the second line again uh, from bar five to the end Two, 
gonna take the whole first part now. If you're brave, let's go. Two, three. <laughs> try and see if I could slip a few things in. So we have we slide at the start or a double stop. No, no double stop there. You want D or A. Tunes in the key of D. First part's in the key of D anyway. second part is in the relative minor which is B minor so this is where that double stop FB was that I was thinking on was coming in so and again uh, we have a little surprise B flat coming in here um, okay changes in the melody here um, it's written out as a three-part second or uh, not an a double it's written out as a double second part okay but I because it goes back around that arpeggio thing but I don't play it that way and I haven't heard it played that way so I'm just going to take you through it the way I do it okay um, so here we go two three That's bar 9 and 10. 2, 3. Do you hear that weak grace note in the first two Bs before the B flat? I should call it an A sharp because that's what it's written in as, and that would probably be correct. Two, three. Two, three. Okay, uh, eleven and twelve now. That's the way I play it. Uh, two, three. Two, three. I'll use a roll there on those F's 
two, three. So that's an F and then an F roll. Two, three. phrase that's written in there goes two three two three now I would be using that maybe as a variation if I wanted it um, so that first line of the second part goes two three Next, uh, the fourth line, 13 and 14, it's the exact same as 9 and 10. Okay, so I'll, there's no point in going through that again because I've already gone through it. We'll go through the last two bars, um, 15 and 16, and as I said before, at the end of bar 16 is where I'd stop and go back to the start. Um, you can if you want to learn the rest, which is pretty much the same as the first part, so I don't see the point. Okay, it may just be a mistake in the print. Okay, last two bars. second part with a slide up onto the FB. No. Okay, so let's go through that entire second part now. It's not that difficult. One, two,
Angel. Cool Age Egg and the Blue Angel. Right, uh, this is your bonus tune now. Um, I wanted to do this tune with you because I like it. Um, I learned it recently myself, but I heard it years ago at a session. It's one of those tunes that sounds more difficult than it is. Um, and if you're not playing that long and you're used to the standard keys of D, G and A, it's a nice one to break you into uh, the other key signatures that you may not be as familiar with. So this one's called Farewell to Chernobyl. It's in the key of D minor, so that's using the scale of F major. Okay, now I'll play it first and then I'll give you a few tips and tricks for making it a little easier to learn, all right? Maybe you'll think I'm lying to you and you find it incredibly easy. I hope that's the case. is in D minor and so this tune is in D minor and it is using the scale of F major so the first thing I would ask you to do is just play the normal scale D major so the trick is with this one you're pulling your middle finger back so as you would if you were playing at the scale of G major flat and an F natural in the A and the high E string. So as far as a, a key signature using flat notes, it's one of the, if not the easiest one. So if you're on the A string, you'll see that your first finger is right by the nut. There's a full gap between first and second and a full gap between okay second and third now if you can try and hold that shape in your hand for the majority of the tune like so and hover above the strings the tune will become much simpler because this tune uses a lot of patterns re repeated patterns unlike another tune which is more melodic this tune just simply repeats uh, uh, arpeggios in the key so we're gonna get stuck in straight away so the opening pattern in the first two bars. Now you will have to move that first finger up and down a few times because you're getting the E natural and the B flat and the F on the A and B flat and the A string, F natural and the E string, E natural and the D string. All right, so that finger is moving a little bit, but the rest of the hand is staying in that position, okay? And that might find a little feel a little uncomfortable because you're not used to keeping that middle finger there without that first finger keeping it as a guide okay so just bear that in mind the other thing i will say is when you hold in a position like this and it is new you'll tend to try and grip it use strength to keep it in position if we get in position using strength fair enough but once we're in position try and relax that arm as best you can so tips things that you can do to relax your arm is to when in position move your elbow Move your shoulder, it'll tell you if your biceps clenched, if your forearms clenched. We don't want any of that happening when we're playing the fiddle. If that's happening, your hand's gonna get tight. If, you're tight. if your hand is tight, it's very hard to move your fingers quickly. Whereas if your hand is loose, 
your fingers can move much more quickly in limbo. All right, so just bear that in mind. So, I'll show you this again. Opening bar, opening two bars. So the majority of that is played. Just putting your F on and off, as you can see, it's just. Same three notes, D, F, A. And then. So play that with me now. One, two. to keep a tuner within view um, just to make sure that you're hitting that F as a natural. Okay, next phrase. Now, this is an A, uh, an A minor arpeggio, so A, C, E. Now, the trick is with this, cover the A and the E with the one finger. So there's no movement happening. And in the fiddle and most instruments, the trick is always to try and find the most minimalist way to do something. Less effort you have to put in to get the result is usually the best way because therefore you're not taxing your hand as much as you would be if you're lifting for the A and E. Okay, so. Okay, so this is bar uh, three and four now. Okay, the trickiest point here is going from low C to high C or mid C. Okay, without hitting that D in the middle. So there's a quick drop of the arm to get that C. Okay, so we're going to go through that again. Two, three, See when I'm hitting that C, I'm not even moving my first finger at that point because I will need it in position for that. Now it's written down as a yeah, it is a B flat, so B flat. But I learned it with a B natural at that point, so dealer's choice really. Okay, I kind of like the B natural uh, in that point, but it should be B flat normally. Okay, so it will be an X. Actually, sorry. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four. So bar three and. No, it's wrong tune. So as we're in the key of D minor, it should normally be a B flat, but in bar four, it is an accidental B natural, okay? So it makes things a wee bit easier for us. You see, I hit the D string, you don't want to do that. So if you keep the, the A. An E finger there, if it's not pressing, it'll deaden that string. So if you do accidentally hit it, it'll be a very, very minute sound. So those four, four bars together. Two, three. Six. 
Okay, same as bar one and two, so I'm not going through that again. The next uh, seven and eight. Five and six bar five and six. Again, that's a B natural, an accidental B natural, uh, meaning only for that bar. Okay, so. now so again the trick is with this phrase if you have your E on the D string in place then your C on the A string in place and then the only variable is the third finger you see how minimal the movement is there you see Really all you're doing, the movement then is all in the bow hand, so. Now we have to pull back for that F. Okay, so the last two bars in the first part, you get in that shape. And then pull the first finger back. Two, three. Let's do that whole first part again now. One, two. Okay, guys, let's try the first part now together. Two, three. second part of the tune uh, now the second part is quite repetitive as well so we're nearly there okay again it's all about the shape so get your D tune it off the low D string pull your F back okay open the phrase so once they're in position you've got most of the notes ready two three phrase one we're going to slow it down so get the D in position and the F natural in position it's good if you have a tuner handy and you see that you see like so and then uh, remember try and relax the hand and the only thing that's in motion here is again that G here we go two three okay one two When it goes 
straight in there. The next two bars, very similar, just a slight difference. It's the same as the first bar. So that's the only change. I'll just do that bar. So that's bar 12, or the last bar in the first line in the second part. It's written as I like to put a triplet on those crotchets. So we're going to take that full line now, the first line of the second part. Two, three. line bar 13 and 14 is the same as bar 9 and 10 so we'll just include them now 1 2 back up to the G. Okay, so <clears throat> 10, 11, 12 bar bar 15 and 16 now. together now from bar 9 to bar 16 so the first two lines of the second part and we're going to include the third line because it's the same as the first line okay so we're nearly there two three again That's about the shape. So you get that shape. When you're doing that F, just before you have to go to the B flat, just cover two halves to work. 
So the work that you're doing in the hand, even though the melody is changing, is the same. Okay? The bow is doing all the work here. Two, three. Let's just do that again. Two, three. trickier the last two bars the last two bars actually arrived at our first B flat in that whole line is the last line the B flat appears whereas the rest of the time it's B natural so that makes the tune a wee bit easier last two bars again last two bars again two three The entire second part now and then we'll do the full tune and that is farewell to Chernobyl. Here we go. Two, three. Turn together now. One, two.
is farewell to Chernobyl and that is farewell from me. It's been a pleasure being invited in here. I'd like to thank the guys for having me and hopefully see you somewhere down the road. Stay safe.